you like your dinner, Mr Hill? Oh, yes, thank you very much. I particularly like the peas. Nice to see such a lovely clean plate. <laughs> Thanks, Vivian. Hello there. You know, many days and weeks ago, I was invited to perform at one of London's many hamburger outlets in front of a specially invited audience. Everyone was there, and what a fantastic night it was. Beef burgers, egg... Bacon? Bacon, peas, peas bacon, peas, everything all cooked up in a lovely pot. It was fantastic. And the laughter, why, the laughter seemed to last a million years. Well into the year 2000, silver foil outfits, monorail, food in tablet form, all oh, party form. And I just thought what a shame it was that not everyone could enjoy my special hamburger outlet night. Imagine my glee when I discovered that a special secret video film had been made. And so you can all enjoy it. Yes, all of you. So why not sit back, pull yourself a lovely pint of chopped juice, and let the laughter begin. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the capital of England, London. To your left, Birmingham. On your right, the Isle of Thanet. Look north to Scotland, home of whiskey. And in the south, Portsmouth, home of the sailor. But now, ladies and gentlemen, look to the front as we welcome the self-styled supervarmint, Mr. Harry Hill. place to bring up a small child, is it? <laughs> now, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. back me up on this. Mm -hmm. All the quiz shows, all the quiz shows. Working as a team, I get that. All the quiz shows, working as a team, I get that. Now, is it, uh, mm -hmm. goal? Now, uh, Uh, is it me? Or do you find you get the amount of alcohol you're allowed to drink when you're driving mixed up with the amount you're allowed to take from customers? <laughs> Not again. Now, uh... Parkhurst. Now, um... Got the, um... I bought a, uh, I bought a, mm, back me up on this, I bought a, mm, 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 I bought a, uh, mm, mm, one of the I did, uh, mm, I did buy a computer, right? I bought a computer, highly affected, one of the computers, but I don't think I'm getting the best out of my computer, right? Because basically what I do, I turn the computer on, right? And I turn the brightness up, and I use it as a light. <laughs> I think I'm getting the best out of it. That... Mm, Galileo, Galileo. That... Mm, it's some sort of metal, isn't it? Probably some sort of metal, isn't it? You won't know for sure till we get the test back, of course, won't we? Come on. Come on. Mm, another clear night. Now... So... Mm, I did see mm, a rather, un, rather unusual sight 
the other day. Now, you know the um, electrified fly catching grill, right? You're not familiar with that, aren't you? Hey, the bug zapper, you know what it is? It's, a, it's an electrified fly catching grill, I call it. What happens is the fly flies towards the light, doesn't it? We've all seen them do it, haven't we? We've all seen them, hey? Hmm? It flies, hmm? It flies. Scaramouche, scaramouche. It. Oh, look at It flies towards the light, but it hits the electrified fly catching grill and dies, right? Now, I saw a fly the other day flying towards that light, right? And we've all seen them do it, haven't we? We've all seen them, hey? It flying towards the light at about a centimetre from the grill. It had a heart attack. <laughs> But the momentum just... <laughs> just kept it going. It hit the grill, and the electric shock just restarted its little heart. <laughs> what are the chances of that happening? Eh? <laughs> now, uh, annoying as soon as you get on the phone the bar starts running isn't it annoying <laughs> <laughs> and rather rather a nice idea right if you're making a long distance phone call just take the time before you make the phone call just to do a sweet on the handset there if it's a long phone call just yeah i know it's a bit ridiculous isn't it <laughs> My mother, she was a, mm, she, what's your favourite shop, sir? Pork, is it? I had you down as lamb, just shows you. <laughs> I think you can tell by looking at someone, but you can't always, can you? Mm, can't always, mm, 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 well, very nice. They're the main two shops, aren't they? Pork and lamb. Hey, they're the main two, pork and lamb. Pork. Beef gets a sausage, doesn't get a chop. I don't make the rules up, right? <laughs> I don't make them up, do I? Mm. My mother! She was, mm, mm, she was. Hey, Mr. Tallyman, follow the Granada. <laughs> mm, she was, my mum, a lollipop lady, right? A lollipop lady. And by that, I mean she had a very thin body, big round sticky head. <laughs> mm. My father, mm, he, look at that lining. Look at that. Mm, hey, follow <laughs> The, that green ball you get, you know the green ball you get with the washing powder liquid, right? I don't remember, it's the green ball, right? It's a washing powder, but it's a liquid, isn't it? Eh? It's a washing powder liquid, two of them working as a team, highly effective. <laughs> it's not a powder or a liquid, it's two of them. Washing powder and liquid, highly effective, the two of them working together like Torval and Dean, right? Aren't they? Hmm? The powder and the liquid, like Torval and Dean, highly effective, aren't they? Torval and Dean, mm, mm, mm. back me up on this, right? Dawn and Dean are very good on the eyes, aren't they? Hey, you get them outside in the street, all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Goal! Now, uh, so, that green board you get with the washing powder liquid. Now, how are you supposed to get your clothes in there? <laughs> I find. I can get a pair of pants and a hanky. <laughs> I'm having to buy 15 of these balls to make up the loan. <laughs> Terence Trent Derby, the River Trent isn't even in Derby, is it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it should be Terence Trent Stoke, shouldn't it? <laughs> You're right, Jim, he never returns any of your letters, does he? <laughs> Of course, it's the unicorn, isn't it? That's the unicorn. That's Pinocchio, isn't it? <laughs> Two very different things. Working as a team, highly effective. Now, <laughs> those eyebrow tablets, is it four a day or 40 a day? <laughs> hey. They're not real ones. <laughs> a little tiny joke. A little tiny joke, I wrote it. Mm. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Get those buses out, Butler. <laughs> get, get back up there. And ladies and gentlemen, my own particular tribute. E17. Excuse me.
stay now, stay now. <laughs> stay, stay, stay there. The tiny little moustache is there. <laughs> and in the pocket, away. Uh, that motion there, that just demonstrates the width of the pocket. <laughs> oh, that's rather nice, isn't it? A little bit of... Mm, a little bit of chop juice there. <laughs> A little bit of lamb cordial. A little bit of lamb cordial, rather nice. You kid, well, you're a pork man, aren't you? A pork man, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fried or grilled? Hey, fried, grilled. See, I'd down as fried as well, see? That's me at tenner down. <laughs> My father always used to say, always fight fire with fire. And that's why he was thrown out the fire brigade. <laughs> That and his snooker wasn't up to it, see? It wasn't up to it. <laughs> My dad, mm, mm, he used to like... That's why they called me Mr. Fahrenheit. He used to... <laughs> he used to like my mum. My dad used to like her to get dressed up as a nurse. And then he used to like her to go out and work as a nurse. <laughs> Extra money, see, a little extra money. I'm always thinking, see, always thinking, my dad. Now, mm, mm, when they bought the board game out of TV's Mastermind, right? Didn't have Magnus Magnuson on the front, did it? <laughs> Had a man with a beard and a Chinese lady. <laughs> so, there is, mm, there is a tiny monkey called the chimpanzee. Now, the, mm, the chimpanzee is a highly intelligent monkey. It has developed three different calls. And one of the calls of the chimpanzee means snake. Mm. It's a warning cry. <laughs> snake! <laughs> That's not it, right? That's not it. It's some, I don't speak much chimpanzee. I speak a little bit of chimpanzee, but not much. <laughs> There's a snake. It, there's a snake in the jungle. One of the chimpanzees, highly intelligent, clocks the snake. It sees the snake, it gives the warning cry. And all the chimpanzees jump up into the trees to avoid the snake, right? Always thinking, highly intelligent. Now, if you tape record one of the chimpanzees doing the snake cry, and you play it back to them when there isn't a snake there, They think there's a snake there. They all jump up in the trees to avoid the snake, right? Now, if you video them doing that, and you play the video, mate, they? <laughs> they'll go, no, no. The Radox, mm, the Radox bar, right? Now, I find that Radox bar is slightly more expensive than the other brands of bubble bar. And I find if I buy that Radox bar, right? I've got that bar there, I'm lying back in that bar, I'm thinking about that extra money. <laughs> and I find I can't relax. <laughs> Now, Terence Thames London. <laughs> hmm? Why do the squirrels bury the acorns? Hmm? It's just what the oak tree wants, isn't it? <laughs> hey, they just playing right into his hands, aren't they? <laughs> One person clapping by themselves, always a bit embarrassing. <laughs> Particularly after sex, I find. Now, so, why do the squirrels take the Brazil nut casings, polish them up, make little shoes out of them? <laughs> it seems obvious to you, all right, doesn't it? <laughs> well, we don't know, but if a squirrel steps out of line, right, they end up each foot embedded in a toffee in the canal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And of course, the swan, right? the swan can break a man's arm with a single twist of its neck. But of course, a female swan can break a male swan's heart with just a glance. <laughs> Restaurant that Baba Gascoigne's opened up, though, eh? Ten pound for a starter. Who's going to pay that? <laughs> so good. Me, I woke up this morning, right? And I thought I was having one of those alien abduction scenarios. I thought I was being abducted by aliens. I felt constricted. I felt paralyzed. I could hardly breathe. But far from being an alien abduction scenario, what it was, I worked it out. My mum had just tucked me up a little bit too tight. <laughs> She's going to tuck you up tightly, because if she does an emergency stop, you're straight up the floor of the caravan, aren't you? Well, <laughs> 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 mm. mm. sir, what do you do for, what do you do for a living, sir? Think, man, think. Come on, come on. <laughs> You've got to be quicker than that. There's a halibut war on. You know. <laughs> You've just changed jobs. Be fair, it's just changed jobs. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do now? <clears throat> Working for yourself. And what were you doing before that? Working for another company. <laughs> it's nice to meet new people, isn't it? Pat, <laughs> Pat, Ricky, Ricky. What, um... All right, all right, one at a time. Sorry, you... Estimating and ordering, very important job, isn't it? <laughs> Estimating, mm, that job, back me up on this, involves a lot of pointing, isn't it? <laughs> mm, that one does, isn't it? Mm, estimating and ordering. Go on, go and estimate all that stuff up, go on. And that's an order. Always thinking, see, thinking on my feet, yeah? thinking on my feet. <laughs> We've never met before, have we, sir? No, we haven't. Now, there's a... <laughs> now, there is a risk, and back me up on this, if the job involves a lot of pointing, that that main pointing finger might get tired. <laughs> you find that, sir? End of the week, hey, eh? little Alan there gets a little bit tired. <laughs> Ooh, come back before you leave my life. <laughs> Here's the important part, to prevent that from happening, right? What you do to prevent that getting tired, just, just bring the thumb up. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the cause of ginger hair <laughs> is if the mother, during pregnancy, eats too many cheesy watsits. <laughs> My father, very mean man. He had my mum hypnotised not to order a starter. <laughs> I never saw my granddad. I never saw him because he was excellent at hiding. <laughs> now, I find if you hollow out a pumpkin, you can get about 15 shirts in there. Magnus Magnuson, when that photograph was taken. <laughs> hey. Where was he? Hmm? He did the TV series, didn't he? Didn't he bother turning? Didn't he bother turning up for the bug game for all? Didn't he bother turning up for the bug game for all? Didn't he? I got the urine test results back. The doctor said to me, he said, the urine tests are not normal. I said to him, I said, I suppose going around testing people's urine, that is normal, is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's normal, is it? Hmm? Who's got the problem here, you or me? Hmm? <laughs> hey, can I put my pants up now? Hmm? <laughs> 13 million pounds for Winston Churchill's papers, right? Hey, we all know the first thing you do when someone dies, cancel the papers. <laughs> Mm. 
Bull next, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Winston Churchill's milk bill. Mm. Dribble, 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 dribble. Pass. <laughs> I'm not an expert, am I? Mm. Little tip for young mums. Rather a nice one, right? Whatever you do, don't be tempted to take the baby into the bed. No. Don't take the baby into the bed. No. Beware. Dangerous nerve gas. Sorry. Do not take the baby <laughs> into the bed. The chances are you'll fall asleep. There's a chance you might roll on top of that child. Put your back out. <laughs> she does tuck us up, I'll be frank with you. She does tuck me up still and reads me out. She reads me a story, the powerful sedative of a bedtime story, isn't it? She reads me that. Jack and the Beanstalk always gets me. She's reading the story there and I'm going, Don't sell the cow! She, she tucks us up. That's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. She, she tucks You ask me what's in it for her. I'll tell you. That just helps to build up that muscle there. <laughs> she tucked us up and one night, one night, one night, she, <laughs> she tucked my brother up so tightly, so tightly. <laughs> she took a run up to it. But when he woke up, he was a fossil. <laughs> what are the chances of that happening? Got a bar now for Christmas. Imagine that. Imagine being a bird. Imagine being a bird in that sky. Flying around, all the freedom of flying around above the sea. Then going to eat your dinner out of a bin. <laughs> I did go and see Topol. Now he's rather good, isn't he? Topol. Now he's in Fiddler on the Roof. Right? Topol, that's his main thing, Fiddler on the Roof. Now, there is a bit in Fiddler on the Roof, isn't he? He's supposed to come on and go, if I were a rich man, divi, 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 dumb. Right? That's the lyric. I affect it with the divi, divi, dumb song. Now, the night I saw it, right, he comes on and he goes, if I were a rich man, Iffy, fiffy, fiffy, fluff. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, I preferred it when he was a monkey in Pipkins. <laughs> <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, eight years ago... <laughs> eight years ago, four French nuns went to New York to set up a shelter for the homeless. They were penniless and spoke virtually no English whatsoever. And that's why, I imagine, they didn't manage it. <laughs> <laughs> that's nuns for you, though, isn't it? <laughs> lazy people, aren't they? Lazy people, aren't they? <laughs> huh? You take Mother Teresa, right? Mother Teresa, how tall do you think Mother Teresa is, sir? Hmm? Well, I guess, come on. Think, man, think. What's wrong with you? Come on, Mother Teresa. You've got to be cooking that. Four foot. <laughs> that's probably about right, isn't it? about four foot, isn't she? Well, I'll tell you, she's actually over six foot tall. <laughs> if you lift that skirt up, she's kneeling down the skateboard. <laughs> she relies on her flunkies to pull her along. <laughs> At the Bombay, please. Not a very good impression of the trees, I don't think. They're the main two jobs. Walk on that. We've established that. Where are you from, somebody else? South End. Very important. No, very, that, that's quite an accurate answer, South End. But, of course, originally, we're all from eggs, aren't we? <laughs> so the most accurate answer, really, would be an egg. <laughs> Sorry to put you up on that, but... Uh... <laughs> Now, 
My dear old Nan, she was a wonderful woman. She had a tattoo done across the front of her chest. It was a younger woman, a tattoo. True love, Paul and I. But as she got older, of course, the ink ran, the wrinkles set in. It ended up saying, two lighters for a pound. <laughs> Where's the profit margin there? Eh? <laughs> and that, yeah, is a karate chop, isn't it? Hmm? That one, yeah. Hmm? Very different to two other tiny chops, isn't it? Hmm? <laughs> instead of mites, instead of tights, right? Hmm? That's how I remember it, right? You've got a system, haven't you? Salad mites, salad tunnels. That, yeah, is a karate job, and that could be used to knock a goose over. <laughs> They're about that high, aren't they? They're about one Mother Teresa. <laughs> Back to Bombay, please. <laughs> yeah, if the geese ever invade again, we'll be ready for them, won't we? Eh? Terence Lake Windermere. <laughs> now, there is a trend to get rid of your elderly relatives out of their houses into nursing homes so you can sell their house for money. Right? What we do with now? Mm -hmm. That's not a very nice reaction, is it? Mm. What we do with now, we bought her one of these little red buttons that you can wear round your neck, round your wrist, so if she was to fall down, Unable to get up. There I am, stroking her lovely long beard. <laughs> if she was to fall down, all she'd have to do was press this little red button, which would automatically alert a local estate agent. <laughs> to come and value the house. And apparently, there's enough poison in a crab to kill a crab. <laughs> so, they're the main two shops we've established. That pork and lamb, they're the main two, right? There's no ham in a hamburger, is there? Right? Hey, it's all beef, right? What's happening there is pork's getting the credit, beef's doing all the legwork. <laughs> As I say, I don't make the rules up, right? I don't make the rules. Things do change. Turkey, if you remember, used to be just breast and leg, didn't it? Turkey in the old days. Yeah. <laughs> but now, of course, turkey gets a sausage. So things do change. But... <laughs> I've a little song for Chris Eubank. Two, four, six, eight, middleweight. <laughs> but... <laughs> like it along, but they're the main two chops. Pork and lamb, they're the main two chops, right? Now, my dad was a very mean man, as I said, but... One thing he taught me, right, about a chop, pork or lamb, it doesn't matter, they doesn't make two chops. The best, if we had to divide the room up, we straight down the middle, pork that side, lamb that side, you'd be fine so you wouldn't have to move. <laughs> What's your cash boy number? <laughs> <laughs> They're the main two chops, and my dad taught me, and he was a very mean man, the best bit of a chop, apparently, apparently, is that thin bit down the outside, right? That's the best bit of a chop, the thin bit. And that round bit in the middle, that's poisonous. <laughs> and he always used to eat that for us. <laughs> my mum and my dad never really got on. And I think mainly because my mum, she was a time lord, my dad, he was a Dalek. <laughs> See, I used to like the Beatles. They were good, weren't they? Hey, remember them? Four of them working as a team, highly effective. All the four Beatles working as a team. <laughs> Bit like the A team in many ways, weren't they? Hey, the Beatles. Hmm? Only they didn't need a van. <laughs> they didn't need a van. I wonder if we were all to shout A team now. I wonder if we could get the A team to come and join us here tonight. After three, then. A team. One, two, three. <laughs> Bit of a long shot, wasn't it? <laughs> hmm. So, spent most of today in the garden with my stepladder. Not my real ladder, 
O sea... <laughs> Now I got on with my real letter, really. <laughs> Although I did used to find it very easy as a child to rub my parents up the wrong way because they were made entirely from corduroy. <laughs> or is jumping up and down the bed not as much fun as it used to be. <laughs> you get two vests and a turnip. <laughs> so Nana, she went into a coma. She went into a Thank you for that sympathy. She, <laughs> she went into a coma and she was a victim of the health cutbacks. I remember one day in the hospital, one of the nurses came up to me and said that they were going to have to turn off Nana's ventilator because they needed the plug for something else. <laughs> <laughs> We couldn't have toast in the morning and Nana. <laughs> Don't make me choose. <laughs> if you were... <laughs> if, you, if you like someone, idea for you, if you like them sufficiently enough to impress them. When you buy them a drink, right, rather a nice idea, pop a pound coin. <laughs> pop a pound coin into the drink. The enhanced drink, I call it. They drink the drink down. Oh! What's that in the bottom of that drink? Well, it's a lovely pound coin gift they can keep. <laughs> So all she left behind, my man, all she left behind was a car. Her last world possession was a car. So we did put a little in memoriam, a little poem, in loot. <laughs> <laughs> she went to sleep and left us. Lord, how we do miss our nana. Our lives are empty. So was a car. Ford Escort, P. Rage, good runner. <laughs> Elves! Mm. Hey, one of you, hey, mm, mm, mm. Hey, mm, mm. Pass. Elves. 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 <laughs> Elves. 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 Very talented. Very entertaining. Elves. My particular favourite was Heartbreak Hotel. <laughs> I keep bees, hmm. not for the honey, for the fur. Because <laughs> yeah. we know the pelt of the bee, right? The tiny bee pelt, right? Looks an excellent pea cosy, doesn't it? Yeah. You've got a plate full of dinner there, right? You've got a nice bit of tongue, you've got some potato, right? You've got some peas, right? You get called away urgently to the phone, right? Oh no, it's a bit of isn't it? <laughs> Spoil your dinner. You get called away urgently to the phone. By the time you come back, those peas have gone cold, haven't they? Right? Only takes a minute, quickly pop the pea cozies on them. <laughs> important call, they don't mind waiting. <laughs> and of course the flesh of the bee is packed full of vitamins, isn't it? Mm? Particularly vitamin B. <laughs> Now, my first girlfriend, dear old Jean, she died tragically, yes. Thank you for that sympathy. <laughs> He, he, he is one of the glee sounds, isn't he? <laughs> And the main sympathy sound is... Mud. Mud. I bought with Nan a rabbit skin coat. Just before she died, I got her the other night. I just caught her in the headlights of the car. <laughs> she died, Jean, tragically. She choked on a pound coin. <laughs> And... There are ways of breaking bad news, aren't there? Relax, we'll know by Wednesday. There are... The doctor said to me that he detected in the urine very high levels of the life-saving antiseptic cream saddle. <laughs> I 
There are all ways of breaking bad news. I went along to the hospital. I said to the doctor, how is she? How is my Jean? He goes, give me a D. <laughs> Some of you may know that I've got a little tiny adopted son. Mm. He's only three years tall. Three years tall. <laughs> About the size of a Mother Teresa. Back to Bombay, please. <laughs> he's only three foot tall. He's five years old, ladies and gentlemen. The little tiny imp boy, Alan Hill. I've had to bring him along tonight. I'd like you to welcome him now. The little tiny imp boy, Monsieur Alan Hill. Come on, son. When you come? Here he comes. Go on, son, nearly went, nearly went, nearly went. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> Too many cheesy what's it, we think. <laughs> right, maybe sure to eat the test bag, of course. <laughs> Either that, or the mother drinking from the hot tap. <laughs> it's a copper tank, isn't it? It's a copper tank. <laughs> what do you look like with a, with a fringe look? <laughs> Side party? <laughs> Hair up in the morning when he gets out of bed. <laughs> I'm gonna spit on that, just to put that down. <laughs> and later in the day, just. <laughs> or in a high wind. <laughs> now, some of you may recognize the tiny imp boy. This is actually the tiny creature that was inside the cheetah costume. Hmm. Tarzan's cheetah, the highly intelligent chimpanzee. <laughs> Should we show him the walk? Show him the walk. the costume. He then went on to do the PG Tips adverts. <laughs> it's the taste. <laughs> it's the taste. <laughs> now, you may have noticed he's not said a single word, has he? Due to a slip of the rabbi's knife. <laughs> Little tiny Alan here is only able to communicate by tapping. So that's one tap for yes, two taps for no, and the theme from Doctor at Large is a maybe. <laughs> Watch that. Yeah, little Alan Hill there, and off he goes. It's back in the doll's house. Now, back in the doll's house with him, and apparently, the best bit of a pie is the crust. <laughs> that middle bit, the filling, is quite poisonous. <laughs> he was a mean man. <laughs> I wanted an action man for my birthday, and he didn't buy me an action man, my dad. No. What did he do, was he? He bought me a parsnip. <laughs> Action parsnip. <laughs> Back me up on this. The only clothes that will fit Action parsnip. <laughs> because the Action Man clothes won't fit, will they? <laughs> you can't get them over the neck, can you? <laughs> He's got that big, fat, wrinkly neck, hasn't he? <laughs> get one boot on the end, can't you? Hey, hey. One action man boot on the end. And with a pair of action man boots, nice action pass at about 18 months. <laughs> now the only clothes that will fit action pass, of course, are the wrappers from Cornettos. <laughs> Chock up for formal wear. A vanilla for just sort of, I don't know, messing around around the house. <laughs> So, big fella, wasn't he? Elves, great big fella. Hmm? Hmm? Great big fella, elves, and the reason was, right, under that quiff, he used to keep a hamburger. <laughs> He'd get peckish during the song. He'd turn round to the Jordanaires, up with a quiff, out with a hamburger. <laughs> the wonder of you. <laughs> Second girlfriend, Jean, too. <laughs> now, she did try. 
tragically in a car crash. What happened was, we're driving along, playing trivial pursuit. <laughs> Silly thing to do. Right. I'm, I'm asking the questions, she's got the board on her knees and she's driving. <laughs> now, you like Barcelona, was it? Board game? Hmm? <laughs> Nothing like that TV show, was it? Hmm? Little tiny pegs on a board, wasn't it? <laughs> Little tiny pegs on a board like a bowling alley for a midget. <laughs> Those variety packs of cereal. You get two packets of Cocoa Pops, don't you? Where's the variety in there? <laughs> I'm asking the questions. My question for her, what was Whitney Houston's first number one? She looks down for a second. The car spun out of control. Went straight into a tree. I ran round. I got hold of her in my arms. She looked up at me with the last dying breath. I'll never forget. She said, I'll always love you. I said, no, I want to dance with somebody. <laughs> I couldn't let her have it. <laughs> it was for a piece of pie, right? <laughs> you don't give questions like that away, do you, eh? <laughs> the ambulance man came, he shook her like that, he shook her. He said to me, is she fully compass mentors? I said, I think you'll find she's third party fire out there. <laughs> <laughs> These cancer research shops, right? Now back me up on this with the cancer. Back me up on this. Do you find whenever you go into the cancer research shop, they never actually seem to be doing any cancer research? <laughs> <there>. <laughs> second-hand clothes. No wonder they haven't found a cure. Hey. <laughs> busy, busy week. So, I was in Africa. <laughs> no expense spared with this video. I know what you're thinking, that's... Yes, it's the Arizona quarter of Africa. <laughs> Little jungle there. <laughs> Felton. So <laughs> I'm in Africa. You like Africa? Lots of off-the-road parking. <laughs> Never get a ticket. There's a woman in Africa. She's got a plate in the top lip. She's got a plate in the bottom lip. That's what I call a waitress. <laughs> Pizzas are nice, aren't they? Right then, pizzas. Mm, very nice, aren't they? Pizzas, eh? Very flat, aren't they? A bit like Holland in many ways, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they don't reclaim land in the same quantity, do they? Hey? <laughs> I didn't realise that the main food of the Hawaiians is ham and pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like Cocoa Pops. <laughs> now I've got a build-up, haven't I? Mm. They give you two packets. You can't do anything with the little packets either, can you? At least with the big packets, you can make the hats out of them, can't you? <laughs> Lovely, great big Coco Pop packet hats. I'm in Africa. And in Africa, you may know there's a big monkey park where all the monkeys live in sin. I looked in and I could see with my own bare eyes all the big monkeys the gibbon, the chimpanzee, the gorilla. Picking on one little tiny monkey. Picking on him. Bullying him. <laughs> Tickling him. <laughs> Where the sun don't shine. <laughs> Leads. <laughs> Tickling him up the leads. Up the leads, round the Bradford, on the Halifax, using the M62 for that particular journey. <laughs> and all right. I got dressed up in a monkey outfit. The full monkey. <laughs> I mingled with the monkeys and gained their confidence.
way on down. I went up to where all those big monkeys were picking on that one little tiny monkey. I pushed the big monkeys aside. I went up to that poor little tiny monkey and I punched him in the face. And I was lifted shoulder high by all the other monkeys. I made the monkey mayor. Mayor of all the monkeys. What are the chances of that, I mean? Alive! Who could this be? <laughs> Let's look at the telltale signs. The top button is undone. <laughs> could it be the tiny imp boy, Alan Hill? <laughs> Hot in there, is it? <laughs> it's the taste. <laughs> Monsieur, with these rocher, you are spoiling us. Double push on the television. I meant to turn the television on, but it just. just <laughs> turned it back off again. The pizza I had, rather a nice pizza, was a Quattro Four Magic pizza. Quattro Four Magic, very nice. Bit cheesy, though. <laughs> His third girlfriend, Jean Three. I suspected she was having an affair. I'll never forget the first time we'd met. Little tip, never take a girl badger baiting on a first date. <laughs> <laughs> I suspected she was having an affair. Little things, right? For instance, when I kissed her, she'd go, oh, get off, you're not nice as Phil. <laughs> And then one night, one night, one night. <laughs> I only get in, I get in, she's only in bed with all seven Doctor Who's. <laughs> she said, technically, it was one man. <laughs> I let it pass. <laughs> I did see a tragic side on the way here, though. An elderly man, yes. An elderly man standing with his hand out begging, hand out begging like that, and he's, he's singing a little song. He's singing, when I was young, I thought that life was so logical. <laughs> I went up to him and I said, super tramps. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind the down and out, sorry, I don't mind them, the tramps if you like, but they shouldn't put the tramps out for them, should they? The tramp tramps, you may have seen them. They put them out at night. Huh? What they are, you may have seen them, they put them out at night. What they are, in the street, are a big cardboard box. <laughs> in the street. And I don't know what they use as bait. <laughs> but by the morning, there'll be one in there. <laughs> you know the sit-down part? Like the shopping trolley, right? You know, the sit-down part of every shopping trolley. You find it gets harder and harder to get your thighs under. <laughs> I find a little bit of sablon on top of each knee. <laughs> once you're in there, right? Once you actually sit in there. It's even harder to get someone to push you around, isn't it? <laughs> it's alright, you get your pound coin back. What's wrong with you? <laughs> push! Back to Bombay! <laughs> Cher, of course, a singer, Cher is a highly effective singer, isn't she, Cher? But of course, she has got that rather large rear end, doesn't she, Cher, right? And the reason is, that's where she stores nuts and berries. <laughs> nuts and berries that she's gathered in the thicket. <laughs> Cher is highly intelligent, right? She knows that show business is very fickle, isn't it? <laughs> she's very popular at the moment, isn't she, Cher? A few years' time, she might not be so popular. That's when those nuts and bears are coming handy. <laughs> oh, buddy, for home. You see, 
You are the wings beneath my wind. <laughs> See, they're not going to find the cure in the pocket of an old pair of trousers, are they? <laughs> All I'm saying is, get some younger people in with some new ideas. Because <laughs> old ladies can't sell things, do they? Old ladies can't. See, old men, they can. Leave me standing, leave me standing. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but the old ladies can't stop. Mm. You've seen the exercise snakes, they're good. Oh, they're exercise snakes. What well, they are, they build up the muscles here and here. And what they are, they're a snake. You open the box, up. there's a snake in there, right? And it jumps out at you, like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just to have to build up the muscles here and here. <laughs> but you know, there is a condition whereby the poor person, the poor patient, cannot produce any tears. Imagine being told that. I'm very sorry to have to tell you, sir, but he cannot produce any tears. <laughs> I thought you'd be upset. Do. I'm a tear donor. <laughs> I donate tears. Once a month I go to a little darkened room and there's a man there who reads me a very sad story. <laughs> Don't sell the cow. <laughs> and I cry into a cup. Those tears are taken away from me. I'll never see them again. But through my work as a tear donor, I'm able to give these poor people a little bit of sadness in their lives. <laughs> Two hours I was waiting for that television to warm up. <laughs> See, Magnus turned up for the photo shoot. Right? He did turn up, right? That man in the beard. He's a photographer. <laughs> he said to Magnus, he said, uh, I'll go and sit where you're supposed to sit. You come round, look through the viewfinder, see what it looks like. <laughs> Magnus, being a very clumsy man, pressed the shutter by accident. That just happened to be the one they liked. <laughs> that woman with him, she was his Filipino wife. She wasn't Chinese at all. <laughs> the best bit of a lolly, apparently, is the stick. <laughs> the top bit, it's quite poisonous, apparently. <laughs> There's enough poison in the top bit of a lolly to kill a scampi. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous, but it was almost as if there were four different types of cheese on it. <laughs> they make the milk go brown, don't they? That's why I don't like them. <laughs> hey! You don't do that with Rice Krispies, do you? Peg on the windpipe, twist the beak off, karate chop. <laughs> so my dad, in the end, what he did was he, he opened up a shop. And he called that shop, Beds, Beds, Beds. It was a bed shop. <laughs> but he hadn't done his market research. He didn't know that there was already a shop virtually opposite, called Beds, Beds, Beds. <laughs> so my dad, right, he comes out of his shop, mm. <laughs> what am I going to do now? He gets a bed sign and he puts it up on the end of his bed shop. His shop now is beds, 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 beds. <laughs> of course, the other bloke comes out of his shop. <laughs> he, get, he gets two more bed signs, right? He puts them up on the end of his. So his shop now is beds, 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 beds. Right? My dad comes out of his shop. Boom! 
what am I going to do now? He gets some more bed signs, right? He gets a snap and puts them up on the end of his. Right? So his shot now. Bits, bits, bits. Bits, bits, bits. Bits, 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 bits. The other bloke comes out of his shot. He gets a whole load of bed signs. He puts them up on the end of his. Bits, 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 Oh, what am I going to do now? He gets a whole lot of bits and he sticks them up on his. A bitch, 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 bitch,